In this video, we'll learn about the order of operations. So if we have a math sentence like this, which operation will we do first? Is it addition or multiplication? So if I just represent what this means, then it will help us decide. So it says three add two lots of four. which I'm going to show is this. So one lot to four, another lot to four. Two lots of four. Now, that equals 11. Could it have been five at two first? Well, no, because as I said, 2 times 4, when you've got multiplication, it means lots of. So 2 lots of 4. And that means you cannot separate the 2 from the 4. Unless we have it like this. In brackets. In this case, it means 5 lots of 4. So 3 lots of 4 and two lots of four, which I'm going to show like this. So there we have three lots of four, and there we have two lots of four. They join together to make five lots of four. So that is equal to 20. What if we had here two times four add three. Will that still be the same? So again, that means two lots of four, which is this, add three. And that gives us again 11, because it's the operation that matters. And we haven't really changed the order of these two numbers. But we could still have four times two, add three and you'd give us the same answer so four lots of two add three still gives us 11. so what we have established is that multiplication will come before addition but does multiplication come before subtraction as well let's have a look We have 12 take away 3 times 3. Do we do 12 take away 3 first or do we do 3 times 3 first? So let's represent it visually. Here we have 12 cubes. We've taken away 3 lots of 3, right? So I'm going to take away from this 3 lots of 3. which is 9. So I'm taking that away. What am I left with? It's just 3 as the answer. So again, when it comes to multiplication, we're creating those blocks, lots of. So 3 lots of 3, which is 9. So we're basically saying 12 take away 9, which is equal to to three. Let's try another example. So we've got three times three take away six. Let's represent this. So three lots of three we're taking away six from this. So there we go. What we have left is just three. So again, we did the multiplication first because it's three lots of three and then just taking away six from that. So 
multiplication comes before subtraction. It comes before addition and subtraction. What about division? Does it have priority over addition and subtraction? We know multiplication does, but we don't know about division. So let's give it a go. We've got 9 add 12 divided by 3. So 9 small cubes which I'm adding to 12 divided by 3. So this tells me 12 needs to be divided into 3 parts. So these two cannot be separated. Just like with multiplication, we cannot separate them. So I have 12 cubes here and dividing them by 3, that means I have 4. When 12 is divided by 3, it gives me 4. So what we're saying is 9 add 4, which is equal to 13. And the same thing if we had 12 divided by 3 add 4. So 12 divided by 3 comes first, which gives us 4. Add 9, that gives us 13. So what we're saying is that division also comes before addition and subtraction. We don't know whether it comes before multiplication or after. And we don't know whether addition comes before subtraction. We'll have a look at that in a minute. We came across the use of brackets just earlier. And I'm going to give you an example. Just like that. So we've got 2 add 3 in brackets. And that's multiplied by 4. This is the example we came across earlier. And what we established was that we're going to have five lots of four. So two lots of four and three lots of four. All together, that is five lots of four. So in other words, what we did first was do the operation in the bracket first. Because the bracket is enclosing these two off and is saying, hold on a second, don't go and multiply this. I've got to put them in brackets first. And that's what's happened. So we've got five lots of four. So that means brackets always come before any of these operations, such as division, multiplication, addition or subtraction. So you do the operation within the bracket first, like here we've got addition, which we're doing before multiplication. So we add in this two first to get five, then we multiply in by four. So brackets come first. They come before anything. But what if we have something like two at three in brackets, all squared, times four, what do we do first? How to represent this? What does this mean? So this is telling me I've got two at three being squared. Two at three means five. So five squared times four. Now, we know that multiplication is quite important, but can we do 5 times 4 first? Can we ignore this? This is telling me that 5 is being squared. And then 
multiplied by 4. So 5 squared would be represented like this, 5 times 5, and it says times 4. So it's 4 lots of the 25. So 25 and 25 is 50, and another 50, that gives us 100. So what we have established now is that we do the brackets first, and when we have powers, that's what comes next. Powers, we also call them indices. So index means power. Indices is the plural of index. So what we have created here is an acronym, BIDMAS. So that means brackets come in first, then indices, then division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. This is an easy to remember word, BIDMAS or BODMAS, it's the order of operations. However, division and multiplication and addition and subtraction have another relationship that we're going to look at. So if we have 4 divided by 2, times 3. What will we do first? Division or multiplication? If you do division first, then you get 4 divided by 2, which gives us 2 times 3 which gives us 6. If you do multiplication first then you get 4 divided by 6 which is 0 0.6 recurring. So which one will you go first by? You go by the one that comes first from the left to the right just like you read a sentence. You start this way and then you move on. So you do division first and then multiplication. So if you have, for example, 5 times 4 divided by 2, you do the multiplication first, which is 20 divided by 2, that gives us 10. The same thing applies to addition and subtraction. So you do the one that comes first. So if I have 3 add 2 take away 4, then I'll do 5 take away 4, which gives me 1. Or if I have 6 take away 3 add 2, I'll do 6 take away 3 first, which is 3, and then add the 2 to give me Five. So looking at a few more examples, we've got 5 add 9 squared divided by 2. We haven't got any brackets, we've got indices, so we're going to do that first. So this is 5 add 9 squared, that is 81, divided by 2. So now we've got addition and division, which means we're going to do division first. So 5 add 81 divided by 2 is 40.5. So 40.5, add 5 to that, gives us 45.5. Looking at the other example, we've got 10 take away 
2 plus 3 in brackets all squared. So we've got to do the brackets first. So we'll rewrite this as 10 take away 5 squared, which is the same as saying 10 take away 25, which then gives us negative 15. Finally, we've got 5 divided by open bracket 8 plus 2 close the bracket. So doing the brackets first, we got 5 divided by 10, which is 0 0.5.